Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am in a new location because I waited too long to film this and it is like pretty dark outside. I know it doesn't look like that behind me, but it is. And there is no lighting in the office. There's also no lighting down here, but I figured if we were gonna make a poor lighting quality video, we might as well be festive about it. So I am down in my living room and we are going to make do because I did not wanna go another week without having a video. I apologize for not having one last week. I still had zero voice. Like two Sundays ago, it was like, raspy and I was losing it and then last Sunday I didn't have it at all. Getting back to the topic at hand though, we are going to talk about what we are doing this week in speech and I have a bunch of different little activities that we are going to be doing so I'm super excited about that. Let's just hop right into it. The first thing I have this week in speech is we are going to be writing letters to Santa and I picked up this super adorable little cardboard Santa mailbox at Target in the dollar spot area. I think it was like three dollars. It might have been five. It came with letters and envelopes. In fact, they are in here. I am not going to be using these though because it doesn't really apply to my kids. So we're not using those. I just really wanted the box. I know I was looking at the Melissa and Doug one, but frankly it was just too gosh darn large for me to keep at work and um, honestly I don't really want to keep all of these toys around my house. I don't have any children so it just kind of looks a little funky. But like I said, I grabbed this. We are going to be doing some short letters to Santa just to put them in um, and mail them off. Fun fact, I do want to have them all get letters back from Santa Claus but we will see if there is enough time for him to get that stuff under control. He's a very busy man. This is in the Target dollar spot. I was actually just there yesterday and I did see some more of these, so definitely get them while you can. That's just kind of a fun little thing I'm gonna have them do probably like the first five minutes of the session this week, just because I didn't wanna build a whole session around it and I wanted to get it done. So that's probably gonna be, like I said, a little introduction during the session, but for my articulation and some of my language kiddos, I'm going to be doing this. And I'm very excited slash sort of not excited, but we are going to be busting out my big block Jenga set and going to be doing Jenga bells. I did not coin that term. I have heard that like many a times. We are going to be using these foam blocks and I remember I showed you guys like over the summer I grabbed these and I said I was gonna stow them away and hide them and maybe bust them out during the holiday season. This is that time. Only thing is, is I did use these last week with my tier three class and they're kind of terrible. Not gonna lie. They're foam blocks. So I don't know why I didn't think of this or why the creators of this toy didn't think of it. Maybe it's not advertised as Jenga. No, it definitely is build and play. It looks like they're playing Jenga. Um, but basically they don't slide. So when you're trying to slide out bricks, the whole thing pretty much comes down. So we are going to do our best with it. If I cannot do it like traditional Jenga style, we are just going to build the blocks up and see who knocks down the tower after they stack them all up. I will inform you guys how that goes because that was just an alternative way I figured we could play in case the kids got too frustrated with all of the blocks falling down every single time it was their turn. But regardless, we have the big block kit and then what I did was I printed out um, these cards and honestly they're just they're super easy they're for articulation but some of them are like multi-step directions and sorry if you hear something my cat is over there scratching on the cat tree so that's rude but basically they just have the color on top and what you're doing is you're picking a card and whatever color it says is the color brick you're either going to try to get out of the jenga configuration or you're just going to stack that color up, but then it gives you something to do. So repeat a sentence from the therapist is one of them, say your word and touch your nose, make up a silly sentence with your word, repeat a sentence from the therapist again, 
use your word in a sentence, say your word three times each, use your word in a sentence while pretending you're really tired, use your word in a sentence and clap your hands two times, just things like that. So I printed each card out twice, that's why there are some duplicates um, to make a nice big deck and that's pretty much how that's gonna go. So they're gonna take turns drawing the card, I will either read them the instruction or they will read it, I will give them the word and then they will use this however it is instructed to do so on the card that they drew. Um, I think the kids are really gonna like this. Like I said, we've got tons of wiggles. The struggle between Thanksgiving break and Christmas break is real. Um, so all my kids definitely wanna be up and moving and doing fun activities. So hopefully this will keep their wiggles at bay and kind of get them up and moving around and doing some things. Um, I did make sure to explicitly state how many times they were to do some of the more fun physical activities such as like jumping jacks or jumping up and down or clapping or whatever that may be like it's definitely only one or two times so that this way we don't all lose our mind so let me know if you would like these i will link them down below in case you have either a giant jenga block set or even if you just have the regular jenga block set you can color um the sides of the blocks these colors and then you can just make up different cards for them but i thought this would be a cute activity Last but not least for my language kiddos, we are going to be doing hot chocolate object function. So what I have are some mugs of hot cocoa and on that mug there is a function. And then I have corresponding marshmallows with pictures on them and they are going to have to put the marshmallow into the correct cup of hot chocolate. So for example, one of them, the mug says protects your eyes from the sun and then they would have to find the marshmallow that had a picture of the sunglasses on it. And I have a lot of kids that are working on object function relationships, but I also have a ton of kids that are working on just those following directions, choosing between a field of like two, three, or four. Um, so I figured I could set this up and work with them with this and it's just a cute fun activity. I will also have this linked down below. I will put it up in my TPT shop. It is not up currently, but I will get it up there for you in case you would like to pretend like you're sitting at home sipping a hot cup of cocoa yourself. So that's everything that I have for this week in speech. Hopefully this transitioned well. Honestly, I don't hate it just because I really wanted to show off my Christmas tree. I don't even know if the bow was in the shot and it took me like a solid hour to make that burlap bow but it's on there and it's probably my favorite tree topper that I've ever had. I haven't had a whole lot of tree toppers, but that one definitely is my favorite. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys are doing this week in speech. Let me know how many days left you have until Christmas break. If your kiddos are on the Christmas fun train as much as my kiddos are, Friday we actually just had a huge Polar Express movie night sleepover-ish type thing where the kids wore their pajamas and brought like blankets and pillows and sleeping bags to school um, and they got to watch the Polar Express movie and we kind of set up the whole school to look like trains and we had train tickets for like admission tickets. It was really cute. Um, so I'm definitely getting into the holiday spirit. That's pretty much it for this week. Just wanted to let you guys know how we are celebrating in the speech room and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!